Hello, my name is Paul Angelo, and I am Senior Director with Advisory Services, and I'm uh, joined with, by Alana Lipset. Um, hi, Alana. Hi, Paul. Uh, can you tell me a little bit about yourself and your expertise? Yeah, sure. So I am currently a Senior Program Manager at the Institute for the Future. Uh, where we teach people to think about long-term futures to make better decisions in the present. Um, and I came to that job through kind of a winding path through various um, industries and genres that touch urban development and touch community development. Um, I spent years working for city governments and for private developers and community groups on equitable and participatory um, urban design. Um, and about how many panels have you been on? I've been on three now. And then why do you say yes when we ask you? Yeah, I, I love serving on panels. They are, I've done three um, once a year for the last three years, and they are really the highlight of my year. I love, um, I love exploring new parts of the country and new issues. I love meeting new people. Um, I really appreciate being able to build community and build relationships with people who are part of the advisory service panel community and learn from them. Um, I, most of my work has focused in the Bay Area in California, and so it's been really interesting for me to see other parts of the country and see what issues related to, to land and related to land use um, that are happening in other, in other parts of the country. And I always learn something, and I always learn something that I can take back to the work that I do in the Bay Area. So it's been um, a great experience to feel like I am able to contribute to the process and to um, to work on various issues and then to also feel like I am learning and I'm and I'm enhancing the work that I'm able to do. And then of those three panels you've been on, um, do you have a favorite or one that's really memorable? Yeah, I think, I mean, they've all been wonderful. The one that, that sticks out is actually the first one that I did, which was in Minnesota, which of course, as we know right now, is in the news for um, a lot of reasons that are, that are very challenging and sad. Um, and the, the panel that we did there was looking at reconnecting a neighborhood that was literally divided um, by the highway system, a historically black neighborhood that was torn up when the highway was put in. And we were working with a group that has been organizing for years to reconnect the neighborhood, to physically reconnect the neighborhood by putting a land bridge or a cap over the highway um, to reconnect and there were so many parts of this that were fascinating for me, um, not least of which was the fact that this group had actually gotten the Minnesota Department of Transportation and other high ranking officials to issue a formal apology to the destruction that had happened to their community. Um, and to see that organizing takes a really long time and it can have such a profound impact on policy. And it was also really interesting to see how many different members of the community from different areas, whether from the arts or from land use or from development or from community organizing or small business were part of this process. So it really, it really felt like an inclusive effort and it really felt like um, the whole community was behind this idea and this message. And so it was, yeah, it was really inspiring to be part of it. Well, thank you so much for sharing that. Um, do you have any final thoughts or something else you'd like to share? Yeah, I think um, especially now in, in this moment when everything is changing, both with regards to how we're able to gather because of coronavirus and also because of all the racial justice issues that have kind of come to the forefront of everybody's consciousness. I think it is really important that we remember the impact that urban development and that city development has on how we interact with each other. And so I think that the focus that these panels I've been on have had have had such a they've had such a focus on community engagement on acknowledgement of past racial injustices and I think it's I think that ULI has a really unique role to play in um, helping be helping a lot of those ideas become actual policy through the recommendations that the panels give and it's an it's an honor to serve on the panels and I would encourage people who have the opportunity to to participate and to use your position, use your expertise, use the place that you hold in society to bring these values into policy. Well, thank you so much. And thank you so much for talking with me today. Uh, have a good day. Thanks, you too. Bye.